this is what we're up against today. This is where I'm at. And this little loading dock right here. Had to come down this alleyway. Which big trucks have no business being in. Had to go up into this lot next door. Bang a U-turn, which sleeper trucks have no business of being in. Because I almost took down a fence, but that's besides the point. Luckily, I got out and looked because it didn't feel right. And then sight side back into here. But never again am I coming to this place. Because this is fucking awful. Should have seen the intersection before I got to this one. It was even worse. Look at this bullshit. Got me driving down this bumpy ass street. I have to literally hold the camera with my hand because of how shaky it is. It's not. Looks like you're going to have a seizure. Big truck's got no fucking business being back here. Dude. This is unbelievable. This fucking car is blocking me. Look at this. I gotta wait for this traffic to pass me because I gotta make a right. I don't know if you can see it. Up here somewhere, I'm assuming where that orange sign is. Take up all this room. Let's go. I got shit to do. Dang. No fucking way. No way that that's gonna work. Look at this shit. Ain't happening, cuz. Another day in the life of Billy Big Rigger. This is where I'm at. Probably thinking, how did I get here? Well, I have another video of me trying to get down this alleyway over here where that car is at. Trying to come down here and sneak a left-hand turn, but I don't know if y'all can see it. There's a telephone pole there right on the corner. And of course, with a sleeper and a 53 footer, did not have enough room to make the left-hand turn. So it's just simply not enough room. I got a video, like I said, but, so I backed up over here, pulled through this lot with the permission of Mr. Police Officer here, of course, and came out this way. And what we had to do was we had to pull out to this little side street right here and block up traffic. And what I had to do was I had to pull up this side street right here and then do a side side back into this alley all the way over here. 
and I'll show you what I was up against. I mean, I had enough room, but it was still plenty tight. Like I said, with a 53 footer and a sleeper calf um, was not easy. I mean, these are just some of the obstacles that were in the way. I literally had to hop up on this curb and hug this pole right here. Sorry, phone cut out there. I had to hug this post and hop up on this curb as tight as I could right here. Back down the street right here. Hop up on that curb when I was getting back underneath it. Do one pull ahead and then straight line back over to there. But I mean, I'm in Providence. Well, Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island, right outside of Providence. This is very, very old. I don't know if you can see some of the buildings around here, but this is very, very old. Um, it's just not meant for tractor trailers, man. I told my dispatch, I even got on FaceTime with him. I said, I listen, I'm not opposed to hard work, but I'm never coming back here again. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. That's a good way to get in an accident. I'm just not doing it. This is just absolutely too much. But we got it done. It's Friday. Got enough time to get back home to Pennsylvania. So just wanted to share that. Everybody be safe. Have a blessed afternoon, a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Peace.